Hello everyone. Thanks for viewing this tutorial about how to deploy PHP apps using Cloud Foundry. PHP is one of those languages that has many different frameworks and bootstrapping methods. It also is one of those languages which has the most active and loyal communities. In this particular video, you will learn how to deploy an app written in Lumen. Lumen is a lightweight PHP framework that makes use of Composer for dependency management. The goal therefore of this video is to highlight how to make use of Cloud Foundry to deploy an app that is first scaffolded using Composer install and then later needs to be deployed. Let's get right on to the deploy steps. First step obviously is to check out code from GitHub. Now this particular repo is a sample Lumen application like I mentioned. Next I'll cd into the directory and just to confirm the deployment target that uh, we will use is a Kubernetes cluster running on Google Cloud onto which a CF for Kates has already been installed. Now let's just try to CF push this code um, that is freshly checked out. I'm doing uh, this with zero expectations that it will work. And as expected, um, it does error out. Now let's examine the logs for a bit to uncover why this build failed. Now, from the logs, I understand that creating the containers uh, was not a problem and so the build actually succeeds, but the app is unable to start because it cannot locate the doc root and cannot find the start command. How do we resolve this? Cloud Foundry makes use of a tool known as build packs to convert application source code into an immutable artifact that can be deployed. Build packs use several phases such as detect, build, deploy, etc. And we need to make use of a file known as buildpack.yaml. Buildpack.yaml is a text file that contains all the specific parameters that are required to start and run this particular PHP application and it takes on a simple declarative format. Now build packs the tool can generally only cover a finite number of configuration permutations and so the need for buildpack.yaml arises. Uh, also too much rigidity can hurt you know extensibility of the build pack itself therefore um, Build packs make use of this particular file uh, in order to parameterize it and externalize uh, a lot of the uh, specifics that are required. In this particular case, we add the following lines to the buildpack.yaml. First, we specify the language that is being used, in this case, obviously PHP. Next, we specify the doc root for the application. Finally, we add the start command to the buildpack.yaml, save the file and now push the app using the same cf push command. This time the build pack completes the build successfully and because the start command is also available, the app is started. So this completes the successful deploy. Let's now open this route that is generated in a browser and confirm that the app is in fact running and is live. Then, this is the app. One thing to remember, um, the buildpack.yaml is different from the manifest uh, file. So there are Cloud Foundry tutorials that specify a manifest file as well. And the manifest file is also a simple declarative format uh, contained in a text file that contains certain parameters that are required for the app to start. Uh, the build pack is specifically for 
the language and framework dependencies whereas the manifest is more of a cloud foundry platform thing so just a distinction that you uh, need to keep in mind hopefully this tutorial was useful uh, to you there are a lot more tutorials on our uh, youtube channel so youtube.com slash c slash cloud foundry foundation is our channel do check it out all the information you need about cloud foundry is available at cloudfoundry.org we also have a slack group where the entire cloud foundry community hangs out so if you have any queries do hop over to the slack community and get your queries clarified thank you for watching have a nice day